And so moving to the far end while we wait for that glue to dry, we've got our bridge and our saddle and we've got our line marked. So what we'll have to do is trim this saddle down to fit, uh, trim the sides off this bridge and just roughly line it up there and then mark an outline so we know exactly where we can stick it down. So the rain is absolutely pelting down at the moment. So we're going to take our rosewood bridge and we're going to cut off uh, these little side pieces that we don't need. So again just into the vise. And then just using a hacksaw and using the edge of the bridge here as a guide, we can just nip these off. Same again, we'll take the other side off. Again, we can use this leading edge here of the bridge itself as our guide so we know exactly how much to take off. And there we go. And so, what we'll do is we'll just trim up these sides with a file to ensure everything is flush. And so that's our bridge all tidied up and flushed on the edges. So what we do now is we have to fit the saddle here into as you can see this saddle is a bit too wide on the sides, it's a bit too tall and it's a bit too thick to actually go into the slot itself. So what we'll do is we'll sand down one side of it, take a small part off to make sure it fits, then once it fits, again we'll cut down the edges and then set, uh, file down flush. So you can see now our saddle fits in perfectly, it's just sitting a bit too proud for what we need and we also need to take off uh, the sides. So we'll just do a pencil mark uh, just along the front here, and as you can as you can see there, my pencil mark, and we'll remove this bottom half. So we'll just put it in the vise, and we'll cut off that bottom part. So what we'll do for this is. We get our pencil line just right along where the the jaws are, and then again using our hacksaw on its side because this is only plastic, it should go through it quite quickly, and it is. It's just neat and straight through, and because of, of the jaws on the vice are flat, it's keeping the bottom of our cut flat. Now that's nice and smooth, Ooh, we'll just drop it, and again we'll just stick it in the vise a bit proud again, and just with a file we'll just knock off any of the bores that might be on it, just to ensure that it'll sit properly in the bottom of our bridge. So now here's our bridge. And here's our saddle, and it fits in just nice. So what we'll do is, we'll glue that in place, let the glue dry, and then we'll take off these side parts and round over the edges. So again, just a couple of drops of glue. We don't need too much. And then we put our saddle in. And we'll just leave that glue to set up, and then we'll trim our edges. So now the glue's had a few minutes to dry, again we'll just take our hacksaw and we'll just cut off these extra pieces here on the edge. Again we'll just use our leading edge on the bridge itself as a guide of where to cut. And we're straight through. And then again with the far side. And then again we'll just take our file and just make sure everything is smooth with the edges. 
and it is and just because these points here might be slightly sharp we'll just round those over and there's our bridge ready to go